どうも皆さんお疲れ様です。ひろき先生です。Welcome back to For All Japanese Learners.From today, I'm starting a new video series.It's the best easy to understand instructional video on Genki, the essential material for learning Japanese.Do you know why you are not satisfied with your Japanese?It's because you are not confident in the basics. If you can't speak up, you cannot improve. And that's why you opened this video, isn't it? I totally understand that feeling. When I started learning English, I couldn't speak up with the confidence because I didn't have a basic knowledge in the language. And then I was afraid of making mistakes. So I studied a basic over and over. But Opening a textbook is a hassle, and then I didn't feel like clicking through long, stiff study videos. So I watched the same short YouTube English study videos over and over again. And then I got the basics and、I、started speaking. So this time, I decided to explain Genki in an easy to understand way for everyone who has gone through the same experience. Basically, we're gonna learn one lesson. In the one video. In the video, you will learn grammatical structure and the sentence construction, polite and a casual expression, as well as different ways to say the word presented in the example sentences that are not in the textbook. Have you ever thought that the example sentences in the textbooks are not used in the real conversation? Don't you think so? I think so too. I wondered if there were any example sentences or expressions that were easier to understand. So, in this video, the example sentences will be everyday ones that we Japanese commonly use to make them easier to understand. The example sentences are really the one that everyone now uses all the time, the one that you can learn today and start using right away. By using easy to understand examples, And a word that link to your everyday life. You'll learn a lot more efficiently in this video because you stick in your memory and help you understand what you're learning. However, since a lot of other YouTubers teach the basic of Genki 1, so I'll start with Genki 2 in this video series. But of course, I do Genki 1 if requested, so if you have any requests or questions, let me know in the comment section. s So then, let's get started on the first lesson. Alright, today we're gonna go on to learn about potential verbs, the very first lesson of Genki 2. I won't go into details today, but there are three types of verbs in Japanese Ru verbs, Wu verbs, and the regular verbs. Many of you probably know them because you learned them at Beginnings of the Genki 1, but each verb has a different way to conjugation. Let's take a look at the affirmative and the negative sentence in turn, each with polite and casual expressions. Let's start with the affirmative. Look at these example sentences. Can you come for a drink today? Kyo no mini koreru? Kyo no mini koreru? As a casual expression. 今日飲みに来られますか今日飲みに来られますか As a polite expression. The verb introduced in this example sentence is 来る come, which is an irregular verb in Japanese. The word 来る becomes これ and add るおるます at the end, depending on the casual or polite situation. The only regulars are する and 来る so let's remember them. And suru becomes dekiru. By the way, the formal form is koraleru, but not koreru. In Japan, it is called ranuki kotoba, la less form, and it is said to be grammatically incorrect. But everyone pronounces it with, without la. This is because it is easier for Japanese to pronounce. Of course, informal situations such as business scenes. It is better to say koraleru with la sound added. As explained in the other videos, there are two types of expressions in Japanese 
polite expressions used in the formal situations such as in the workplace, and the casual expressions used with friends and family. For more details, check out the video link in the description. Yeah, I can. Un, ikeru yo. Un, ikeru yo. Yes, I can. Hai, ikemasu. Hai, ikemasu. This verb is iku, means go. Iku is a u verb. Change ku to ke and add ru or mas at the end. Ikeru, ikemasu. We are going to a seafood restaurant, but can you eat seafood? Kaisen no mise ni ikun dake do, kaisen tabereru? Kaisen no mise ni ikun dake do, kaisen tabereru? Kaisen no mise ni ikun desu ga, kaisen taberare masu ka? Kaisen no omise ni ikun desu ga, kaisen taberare masu ka? Yeah, I can eat it. Un, tabereru yo. Un, tabereru yo. Yes, I can eat it. Hai, taberare masu. Hai, taberare masu. The verb in this sentence is taberu, eat, which is an ru verb. The conjugation of ru verb is simple. Just remove the ru and add reru or masu. As in the previous example, this is also a ranuki kotoba, la less form. You can shorten taberare ru to say tabereru. Now, let's continue with the same example sentence in the negative. Sorry, I can't go. Gomen ikenai. Gomen ikenai. Sumimasen ikenai desu. Sumimasen ikenai desu. She can't come over. Kanojo wa korenai. Kanojo wa korenai. Kanojo wa korarenai desu. Kanojo wa korarenai desu. In the negative sentence of u and the regular verbs is simply ku to ke followed by nai or nai desu. Nope, I can't. Ya, taberenai. Ya, taberenai. No, I cannot. Ie, taberarenai desu. Ie, taberarenai desu. For the ru verb, simply remove the ru and then add Renai or Larenai des. Now, in closing, here are the words that appeared in the example sentence introduced today and the different ways to say each of them. Verbs, ru verb, taberu, tabereru, taberenai, or taberarenai. Another way to say ku, slangly way of saying it, quite casual and masculine, not often used by women. For example, kaisen kueru, I can eat seafood. U verb, iku, ikeru, ikenai. Another way to say, deru, sometimes used to mean to join. Kyo nomikai dereru, iku o. Kyo nomikai ni sanka dekiru. Can you join us for a drink today? Regular verb, kuru, koreru, korenai. There is no special paraphrase for this one. Nouns Nomi A drink Nomi kai Also called a drinking party. For example Nomi iku Wanna go for a drink? Kaisen Seafood Seafood Gyokai rui For example Gyokai rui daijoubu Are you okay with the seafood? Today we had a lesson on potential verbs. The first unit of Genki 2. First of all, those verbs can be roughly divided into three types. Ru verb, U verb, and a regular verbs. Each of these verbs has a different conjugation, but the base conjugation does not change much. For Ru verb, Ru is removed and Reru, or Renai, is added. For U verb, the U at the end is replaced by an A sound, and either Ru or Nai is added. There are two regular verbs, Kuru and Suru. Kuru becomes Koreru or Korareru. Suru 
becomes dekiru. I've tried to explain as clearly as possible, but I still think it's difficult to understand everything at once. So, in that case, as I said at the beginning, please watch this video again and again and again to learn the basics. Now, I have a couple of quizzes for you. I cannot get in the morning. I can drink sake, but I cannot drink vodka. I can drive a car, but cannot drive a motorcycle. How would you say these in Japanese? Let me know your answer in the comment section. On the next lesson, we're gonna learn how to say reason why you do something. For example, how to say it's hot and thirsty, I want a beer. Well, that's all for today. I hope I was able to help you all learn. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next lesson and I hope you have a good rest of your day. See you guys soon. 動画を見てくれてありがとう。この動画がいいねと思ったら高評価とチャンネル登録お願いします。あとインスタグラムのフォローもよろしくお願いします。それじゃあまた。